Good evening and welcome to another edition of MWO's Serial Reviews from the Heart of COVID-19 New Jersey. Um, speaking of, I watched a video, uh, the, this guy, the food dude, who's got his two little kids on the side, they're adorable videos, he's got quite a following, and of course, Serial Time, the greatest serial channel on YouTube, I'll include links below, they both discovered a serial called Peanut Butter and Jelly Puffs, and those reviews are great, I watch them, and uh, uh, you get this from Aldi, a store that is not that close to me, but I just happened to be in the direction of one during this apocalypse, and I went in to find this cereal, and it was hilarious because the place was totally empty, uh, all the cereal was gone, all the milk, the vegetables, everything, it was like... I don't know, Friday or one of those days where people are just like, ah, oh, better go stock up everything. And I'm looking for peanut butter and jelly puff cereal. So it's not there. And I'm like, okay, well, I've never been to an Aldi before and I'm probably never going to go again. So I just wanted to take a peek around. And they, they mostly have this product, Millville, for everything there. Like cereal, granola bars, um, I don't know, you name it. This company provides all these stuff to purchase. So I went down this one aisle and just like sitting crooked was this lonely little box of peanut butter and jelly puffs. It was, it was destiny. It was meant to be. I thought I'd share that story with you. I think even the box is misprinted with a messed up barcode there. And there's one there. And I think it's supposed to just look like that. So pretty cool this was meant to be i just want to point out the artwork is amazing i mean i'm not a big fan of independent cereal uh, uh, like off-brand cereals i don't really mess with them they're usually just some version of frosted flakes or whatever but this is very original there's no company really no major cereal company making peanut butter and jelly puffs um it looks like reese's puffs and then it has a a strawberry component so and it contains real uh real peanut butter 16 grams of sugar the sodium's through the roof so it has a real shot at being delicious i've been on a real like cold streak uh you know i've had a couple cereals that are good they're fine but I'm hoping this is a win uh cereal time guy really like this and the food dude i'll include links below i know that was quite an intro and I don't edit these videos, so time is a burning. Right away. Oh, wow. That really takes me back to some cereal in the 80s. I wish I could put my finger on it. Maybe cereal time does. I didn't watch the review lately. But that, oh, strawberry shortcake cereal. Wow. Wow. Holy shnikes. I'm piling high and deep. This is dinner. Um, let's take a peek. Look at that. Looks like Reese's Puffs and then Crunch Berries. Let's do a dry test. Ooh. Food Dude was right. Uh, this is the same consistency here as Reese's Puffs. They're kind of oily. Go straight peanut butter. Hmm. Dry is pretty interesting. Very sweet. But when you do mix the peanut butter and the berry together, it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. You get the saltiness, the sweetness, even kind of the bread sensation. This, I mean, dry test, phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right, let's do this. All right, that's the end of that soy milk. Cutting into my supply here. 
Got a little bit of a frothy end to that. We'll just ignore it. Probably should have shook that up, huh? All right, let's try it with the milk. It really does play like Reese's Puffs in terms of consistency and uh, the crunch. This is fantastic. I mean, not a lot of nutritional value here. That's fine. Looks like it's made in Illinois. No artificial flavors. Pretty crunchy. A little bit of a gum cutter. Um, I wish it was a little bit more peanut butter flavored. The strawberry really dominates, but um, this cereal smells good, it tastes good. It really captures a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, um, much in the way that the Post cereals have done a good job of capturing donuts, but those weren't good. It's like they captured it, but it's like not a good cereal. Um, wow, this is so good. It's a 10. I'm rock solid! The quest for rock solid is here. Holy shin. This is a perfect cereal. Who knew? Millville. Aldi stores. Now I will drive to that place when the apocalypse ends and get this. And if you don't have an Aldi in your state, I'm pretty sure you can probably buy this online. Brilliant. I can't believe General Mills has not uh, made their own version of this. It's a victory. Like, subscribe, comment down below, put that on your spoon and eat it. I'm hard.